Hey there, today I want to talk to you about microgreen trays and where to buy them. So I get this question asked me all the time is where do you buy your microgreen trays and I don't really have a good answer, but what I'm going to do today is I'm going to share with you all the different sources that I found, prices, quality, stuff like that, and maybe you guys can share as well. Now, my favorite microgreen trays are these shallow 1020 flats, and you'd think it was standard, but 1020 is not always 1020. These guys are a little bit wider and a little bit longer than 10 inches by 20 inches, and every manufacturer is slightly different, and some of them are not compatible. And so that's part of the issue that I'm having is, you know, you already have some trays, you want to buy some more, and they want to be compatible, so you have to make sure that you get stuff that works together and all that. So my favorite ones that I've bought are the shallow ones, as I mentioned. These are about 1.3 inches, or 1.2 something inches, and compare that with the sort of standard flat which is like two point something inches and so I some people do use these and these are an option for sure they're also a lot easier to get um, they just I don't like them for microgreens because it's really hard to when you're trying to harvest them to get down to the side uh, but I know a lot of microgreens growers that do use these successfully so that is an option for you especially if you're having trouble finding them now the brand that I've uh, that I've been really happy with, and I don't know the actual branding, but these guys here, I got these from a company called Second Sun Garden Supply, and they actually closed recently, and so that was my go-to for a while. I bought a bunch of them from them, and they were fairly inexpensive, and they're pretty stiff. Uh, they're definitely sort of medium grade, uh, and it was pretty much perfect, but the company went out of business, so I've reached out to them a couple times trying to buy whatever leftover stock they have. They're like, no, we don't have anything, man. So, um, and I didn't really get too many recommendations from them for, for places to go. So these are my favorite um, and they are compatible with some other brands. Now I just want to show you a couple other brands here. This one, these are, it's kind of hard to see from here, but these are probably the flimsiest, cheapest ones. And these are made by TO Plastics. And you'll see these available at a lot of different places. Um, I bought these from Greenhouse Megastore, and you know I, I have no affiliation with any of these companies, and um, so I just I'm just giving you my experience here because you guys are always asking me for these, and I and I'm trying to share them because I don't really have a great answer for you guys. These guys are good. I mean, they're cheap, so they're pro they're not going to last forever. I I have some that are starting to break about a year and a half in. Not a lot of them, a lot of them are still hanging on. It's really how, how you treat them. I mean, you can really abuse them. I know a lot of people grab them by like one hand when it's full and it, it bends over. So like, you know, if you carry it with two hands and, you, and you're a little bit more um, you know, careful with them, they will last longer for sure. Another option here is these guys. And these guys are from Bootstrap Farmer and they are hands down the best quality. Hands down, they're just, they're so stiff, they're amazing. Um, I reached out to the company and they sent me some free trays to try um, and told me to give them an accurate review if I do post about it. So, you know, no pressure there from that company. And they were very cool, uh, very cool people over there. They have some really neat products too. So go check them out. And you can get them in different colors. You know, that's kind of cool too. Um, we got like pink and green and blue. Anyways, not that that really matters, but yeah, they're great. So the one, problem I had with the uh, bootstrap farmer trays is that they're not compatible with all the other 1020s and so um, they just don't work so if I try to stick another 1020 inside of the bootstrap it doesn't fit in there very well and so for me you know I have a bunch of trays already and so I don't really want to adopt a new system now if you're just starting from the beginning get the bootstrap farmer trays like they're hands down they'll probably last you like I don't even know five years they're they're so super super solid and they really stand behind their product um, but they're not compatible and so I didn't really want to have two sets of trays because you know it's just more to manage and, and more to um, you know not get uh, streamlined so I you guys have seen before I like to do bottom watering so for all these setups you know I like to have a hole with a tray with holes and a tray without holes and then these sit in together like this um, I really like the bottom watering system first of all because it's in my garage and so I don't want to be overhead watering everywhere and getting water all over my lights and stuff like that and the floor um, but the other thing is it, it really keeps the microgreens a lot drier if you're not watering from overhead so I do like that um, the downfall is you know you have to buy twice as many trays 
um, and you also, you know, it's more labor because you have to clean, you know, the bottom trays as well. So uh, let's, after I just showed you those options here, let's talk about cost. So there's probably a few other manufacturers out there and places to get them from. I just really haven't come across them. Um, the other one that I would recommend is the is paperpot.co. Um, they have their, you know, their paper pot trays, which are the ones with holes could also be used for microgreens. I know a lot of people use them. They're super sturdy. Um, I don't use the paper pot system, so I don't have those trays. They are a little bit larger, wider and longer, so you get more per tray. So you have to make sure those dimensions uh, work in your racks or whatever system you have. But if you are do it going down the paper pot route, I, those are great trays for um, microgreens. Uh, but the trays are a lot pricier. And so if you do go that route, you know, if you buy 10 of those trays, they're $7 and 90 cents each 10 trays would be six dollars 90 cents each 40 trays would be five dollars 90 cents each so that's a lot of money per tray and if you get more it gets a little bit cheaper now again if you're doing the paper system that's great i mean those things will last a long time from what i've seen they're very well made and then you can dual purpose them and that's a great thing too so when you have more or less of one you can share and that's super cool um the bootstrap farmer trays they uh, if you get uh, two trays at six dollars and forty eight cents a piece. Five trays is five dollars and twenty cents a piece. Ten trays brings down to five dollars. Thirty trays will give you at four dollars and thirty three cents a piece. And sixty trays is three dollars and thirty three cents per tray. And I think that's a pretty solid deal for three dollars and thirty three cents per tray uh, because they will last you a long time. So if you do go down the Bootstrap Farmer uh, route, um, you can get a pretty solid deal if you're buying a bunch of trays at once. Um, and this is prices without shipping, although I think Bootstrap Farmer is free shipping. Um, Greenhouse Mega Store. Now, I told you those are those super flimsy ones, and I did just buy 100 of each of them just because I needed a bunch of trays in a pinch. And, you know, I always say contact is everything, and sometimes you have to buy what you can afford at the time. And so for right now, I needed a bunch of trays very quickly as I was expanding my microgreens operation, so I bought 100 of each just recently, and I'll be good for a while. And even if a couple of them break here and there, for me, it was just, it was a lot less money to put up right now, and so that was important for me. So for them, if you buy one tray, it's $3.50, 10 trays is $1.95, and 100 trays brings it down to $1.64 per tray. So, you know, it depends on how many trays you need to order as well, and so that should factor into your decision-making process, but these are sort of, the three places I found right now um, that are easy to get trays. Um, the other thing is Paper Pot was selling the standard 1020 flats, but every time I look, they seem to be out of stock. And the other thing about the Paper Pot trays, if you're looking for a bottom watering tray, they did custom design bottom watering trays, but they seem to be out of stock fairly often too, so I don't know about that. Greenhouse Mega Store, um, the stock's going in and out as I've been checking and ordering, so these are all things to consider. And um, you know, if you're looking at these options here, I think, they all have their pluses and minuses. I don't think there's a perfect solution. So I know this is not a super exciting video, but I just wanted to share with you the resources that I found, my experiences with these with these products and these companies, and you know, just get this information out there because I know a lot of you guys are looking for this, and if you guys have resources for um, some good sources for these trays, leave them in the comments down below so we can share with each other. I will leave links for all of these products and companies in the description down below so you can check them out and make the decision for yourself. And and yeah, hopefully we can, uh, you know, find more of these products. And if you guys are maybe interested in starting your own business, you know, try to maybe get into the microgreen trays business. It seems like there's a big demand for them and, you know, people are looking for them and, and it's been hard to find. I also bought some of these from a local uh, farm store or a uh, garden store and maybe you can find them locally as well. I know the shallow ones are a little bit harder, but maybe you can ask the, uh, the owner or the employees there if they can order them for you. So that's another option too. And one other thing I want to mention is that when this video comes out, it'll be six months from the first time I posted a video on YouTube. And I know I reflect a lot on this channel and yeah, it's, it's been wild. It's been awesome. And I just want to thank all of you guys again and again for watching and following along and commenting and sharing and all that kind of stuff. And I really do appreciate it. So hopefully you remember this. Hey there YouTube, first video. Got this greens harvester. First time I've ever used it for real. So let's see how it goes. I'm super excited. And so like this video, share it with your friends, make sure you hit subscribe. It's all the stuff you're supposed to say at the end of a YouTube video. I know, right? Seems like a long time ago, but it kind of was a long time ago. And I just really want to say thank you for watching, sharing, liking, um, and following along and all the support and everything. So I really appreciate it. There'll be a lot more to come. Thanks so much for watching this episode and we'll see you in the next one.